beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Trisha Penn Jackson. I'm a licensed real estate agent in New York City and I also write a fashion and lifestyle blog called feastandfashion.com. Here on my YouTube channel, we talk about fashion, we talk about lifestyle, we talk about travel, and we sprinkle in a little bit of real estate. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button to become a member of the tribe. Please hit that notification button so you know when these videos drop and please give this video a huge thumbs up to tell YouTube that you liked it. So today's video um, is something new, something I haven't tried before, which I am loving. And it's my fall favorites, like my fall staples, really. And I wanted to share with you guys my top five fall staples for the season. These are my tried and true pieces that I wear over and over and over again during the fall and during winter. And I'm um, giving them to you so that you guys obviously can bring, um, use that as inspiration for your own looks. And then I'll also have 15, yes, 15 different outfits with these items. So buckle up, stick around. You're going to love it. Um, this was a labor of love because I did shoot all 15 of these looks. Um, but I'm excited to share them with you guys and give you guys ideas of fall outfits and just what I love to keep in my wardrobe as a staple so that, you know, I, if it's, it takes the thought out of dressing in the morning, like I can walk out of the house and effortlessly have a look because I have these particular pieces in my wardrobe. I'm going to go in descending order, so starting from number five, and this one is actually, I think, the easiest probably thing to get and the easiest like item to have in your wardrobe, and that is a turtleneck top. Yes, um, I'm actually kind of wearing, this is more of a mock neck a little bit, but turtlenecks and even mock necks are always in my wardrobe. They are the perfect layering piece. They're my favorite layering piece, to be honest with you. I wear them under blazers. I wear them under dresses. I wear them under shirts. I am going to show you um, multiple ways as I'm talking about them. Uh, they should be popping up on the screen here. Um, I love uh, wearing turtlenecks during the fall because, like I said, they're perfect layering piece and also they are super super chic they go with tons of things they come in tons of different colors and styles there's nothing more chic than a, a fabulous turtleneck and a cute outfit this first look that i'm wearing it in is my tur is a turtleneck with a maxi skirt a black maxi skirt so all black look but then i add a pop of color with a sweater this is one of my favorite ways to wear <laughs> to wear a turtleneck like this to me just reads like not necessarily that old money aesthetic but it just reads really chic she's a bad you know what and she knows it and i just love what how this look came out um the second way that i'm wearing this turtleneck which like this outfit i've worn this um multiple times in the past and it's really really true to my aesthetic because i love to mix a print especially in fall fall is a great time to be able to layer and this um, turtleneck with the black and white, um, the black and white hound's tooth, and then the black and white skirt. I just love it so much, and I love how these two play together. Um, this is a, another way that you can definitely play with your turtlenecks. You can have not not have it not be so plain because sometimes a turtleneck on the top can be a little plain if it's a solid color but having something patterned like this and then even having a patterned skirt and then rounding out and grounding it with a neutral boot a neutral black boot is definitely a great way to be able to incorporate a turtleneck into your wardrobe and then last but certainly not least is a animal print turtleneck I think that everybody in their mama should have some kind of leopard, you know, um, snake skin, some kind of cheetah print uh, turtleneck in their wardrobe. I think it's just such a great layering piece and it's such a attention grabbing kind of piece that you can actually make the rest of the outfit a little bit more toned down. Here I'm wearing my animal print um, top with 
just a plain black uh, pair of slacks and then a blazer draped over my shoulders and then i'm making it really fun by mixing a snake print boot with this look and you know in the fall snake uh animal prints are all the rage it's the best this is the time to wear your animal print so why not double up on the animal print in this kind of way and that is um my my take on the turtleneck i think that everybody can have it in their wardrobe some of my favorite places actually to get turtlenecks are uniqlo uniqlo has the heat tech turtlenecks and they come in tons of different colors tons of different patterns and i love them every season not every season actually because they do wear very well like you can have them for multiple seasons but actually this season i'll probably go and pop and get some because i need a new um nude colored one but i love their heat tech it keeps you warm which i love because i though i like dressing for the warmer uh, for the colder weather I'm not a cold weather kind of girl, so I love to be warm. Um, they keep you warm, and again, they're just chic. They're really lightweight. They're very breathe breathable materials. Another place that I like to go get my turtlenecks from, or I, that I like to get turtlenecks from, is actually Ralph Lauren. I uh, have two Ralph Lauren turtlenecks in my wardrobe and they are just, to me, for they just are so super chic. And I love just having having them in my wardrobe like you have the cute little emblem one of them has like a, bl a black one so you can barely see it but they're really great quality one of them actually i bought new and the other one is actually a vintage one that i have and obviously obviously if it's vintage it's probably been around for quite a while and it has held up i wear it every every fall every season it's definitely a staple in my wardrobe third place that i am loving right now to get um turtlenecks from is actually this company called darling and i actually have my darling turtleneck here this turtleneck i love so much look at the detailed buttons in the back they actually sent me this as a gift so they gifted me this turtleneck but it has quickly already become a staple so much so that i think i need to throw this in the laundry because i've worn it it smells like my perfume <laughs> Um, but this was such a great, um, this is such a great top. You see, it's kind of ribbed there. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I'm trying to put it into my ring light. Um, but it's just really, really great quality and it fits amazing. It's actually the same top that I wore in my first, the first photo and I'll pop it back up here. Or the first video, I'll pop it back up here. I love this top so much. I'm going to link this and anything else I can link, obviously in the description so you guys can see it, but nothing better than a nice turtleneck and darling has some really nice ones. And I can attest that because I have this one. Alrighty. So the fourth item, the fourth, um, cause I'm doing descending order. So I did number five, number four on my list is, um, another staple that I feel like most people in, if not all people, sorry, New York is New York. Right? <laughs> another staple that I feel like should be in your wardrobe and if it's not in your wardrobe it, fall is the, definitely a great time to add a few to your collection because they come out every season every fall this is actually an all around all year round kind of piece but i love it for the fall because again just like the turtleneck it's a great layering piece it goes with everything like literally everything and um i think that it's really, really easy to find. You can find them in all kinds of different stores. Some of my favorite places to actually get these, this item, why am I not telling you the item? It's, it's a white, a white button down shirt or white button up shirt, however you want to say it. I say white button down. What do you guys say? Um, I'm not really sure what the difference is. I, I think there is a difference. Um, but regardless, it's a white shirt. You guys know what it is. And, um, some of my favorite places to actually get some of these items is actually from the gap i have like three button downs uh white button downs from the gap one is a um linen one one is a regular one and actually have a men's button down and i love them i love the gap for white button down they all it's a perfect place to have this the staple um they my second favorite is actually vintage i love to get a vintage button down and it's really more so like men's vintage because i'm a taller girl and a little curvier i get an oversized button down from from the men's section in the vintage store or thrift store 
and they fit me amazing. I also wear my husband's, <laughs> my husband's white button down sometimes. I wear them cinch at the waist and stuff like that. But as I'm talking, I'm gonna pop up a few ways that I've styled them here. And um, the first, the first way that I style it was with this brown vest that is from Meow, and a brown skirt and brown shoes. And I just love this outfit so much. I wore it a couple weeks ago, um, and it was people loved it it's such a such a great way oh, having a white button down and then putting a vest over it is such an easy way to make a, a like a look vests are really in this season and the, this though that brown top is nece not necessarily a vest it's more like a corset top it works just the same way and it's a great great layering piece for this look the second way that i am wearing it is with this skirt i wore this actually um late la last week i wore this outfit and again having browns on browns and you obviously like i mentioned before the your white button down is going to go with everything so it's a great way to pop under a blazer and to have this look to have it to look chic you can definitely wear this outfit to work um maybe maybe well maybe i wear it to work because i'm i work for myself maybe the uh, head boots are a little risque um, but you determine you can change the you can change the thigh high boots easy out easily for a pump or for like a loafer. I actually wore a similar outfit recently. I'll pop a picture up here um, of a similar kind of a similar outfit, but with just loafers, and it worked just as well. That one I actually didn't have stockings on because it's been warm this week. I wore that earlier this week, uh, but it's been great, and I just feel like the white button down really like anchors that outfit because it's just such a great piece and then the third but not, not you know last but not least this is actually the classic way to wear a button down with a blazer i actually decided to put on my Mugle times h&m blazer in this outfit to make it a little bit fun a little bit more edgy and then i have the, these jeans on um from american um american good american um excuse the wrinkly ness of them i didn't realize they were this wrinkly until i filmed it and then i was just like you guys will forgive me <laughs> i usually try to iron my stuff um but you know obviously a plain pair of jeans plain pair of black boots white button down and a fun blazer always makes a look this i would wear something like this to brunch or just um you know hanging out with friends on the weekends like it's such a really really great look so this is a white button down is definitely something i feel like you guys should incorporate into your wardrobe okay number three in descending order on the list of my top five items that you should um um pieces that you should have in your wardrobe as a fall staple is a trench coat i cannot tell you how much i love having trenches i have in my i have mind you i'm a coat girl you guys know i'm a blazer girl i'm a shoe girl and i'm a coat girl those are probably my three things that i think that i have like an excessive amount of um i'm a fashion girl but uh those those are probably my top three things and i love a coat and having coats and trenches in this in the fall are some of my favorite it's just warm enough to keep you warm on those you know slightly brisk uh fall days and again as with all of these other pieces super super versatile you wear it you can wear it with anything and here i'm gonna i'm pop, should be popping up a video this first way that i wore uh this trench is actually a really fun outfit actually i'm actually going to recreate this and actually wear it out i really i really rec um created this outfit for this video but i think i think it's super cute with a trench draped, draped over my shoulders so you see my again me with that white button down like i told you before works with everything and then i have this denim corset again for me i showed you guys that when i did my fall fashion haul and um i'm wearing the, it with this tan skirt which i love i wear that tan skirt all the time in the fall it's such a great piece and then some snakeskin boots i think this outfit is super cute uh for um the fall and it's such an easy outfit to recreate and to 
you can literally find all of these pieces even if your the corset is not a denim piece or you can do a vest it's just re a really great way to um to wear a trench with this kind of these kind of nude colors i love I, I, I love wearing it like this the second way that i'm wearing it is i'm wearing this trench and this trench is one of my favorite trenches in my collection this one i got in paris and it has these cool little epaulettes on the shoulder i'm wearing it with an all white look i love an all white look in the fall i love the all, all white look all year round i know that people you know we're not even gonna talk about that rule of not wearing white after Labor Day because nobody follows that. Like it's stupid. Um, I love an all white look uh, in the fall, and this look with that trench, it just mm, chef kiss. It's just so chic. I uh, again, I can see. I wore it with these white boots here, like actually right behind here. But in hindsight, I'm like maybe I should have wore these Fendi ones instead. So I feel like they would have mixed with the whites um, a little bit better, but I digress. You get the point. It's an example to show you how you can rock this, this trench. And I loved um, how that ended up turning out. And then the third way that I wore it, which was super, super fun, actually, this is, this is probably my favorite out of the three, just because the jacket, the uh, the pea coat, which is a leather pea coat, it's another way. I mean, another um, a leather trench coat. Sorry, is another way that you can actually um, incorporate that trench um, into your wardrobe is by finding a leather one. This leather one is a vintage leather. It's full vintage leather, and I think it was less than twenty dollars. It cost me less than twenty dollars from the thrift store. Love it so much. It. The only thing that I can that I don't like about it is that it's very stiff. But I love it so much. I decided to pair it here and make it super fun. I have this uh, top that is from Zara with the the bow, the pussy bow um, necktie, which is um, also a thing that's on trend. But I've actually had this top for like maybe like four years now, so it's something that that's been in my wardrobe for a while. And then I have it on with my favorite Maison Margiela jeans that go with everything. It's just a plain shoe, and I just think that this look is so fun. Again, I would wear something like this to brunch. I actually, if I didn't have the Maison Margiela jeans on, if I had just had a regular pair of jeans, I would have wore this. I would wear it to city office. It's just um, that good of a look. And yeah, so that is my third way to rock uh, the trench. Again, try to incorporate a leather trench into your wardrobe. You will not regret it. I actually have two trench, um, two leather trenches, that, that brown one, and then you'll see the next one in um, a little later, I'm gonna show it to you. And so the now we're to number two on the list out of my top five. So we went from five, four, three, and now we're at two. And two on my list of my favorite things, my favorite staples to have in your wardrobe in the fall that you need, you just need to like have it if like if this is your thing. And it they also happen to be on trend right now are maxi and meaty kind of skirts. I love a maxi skirt in the fall. I love a meaty skirt in the fall. They just are they to me it's a really really great way to have like a feminine piece i'm not necessarily um a trench girl i've gotten it more into like a little bit shorter skirts recently but i've always been into a maxi or midi skirt i just feel like it just reads very elevated very put together and it's a great way to not have to wear pants all the time because sometimes you get pants fatigue really in the fall like you're always wearing pants it's a really great way just to to um to switch it up a little bit and i just love it i love that you can actually you know pop on like tights underneath you can lay like it's a really really great way to be able to layer um to get to keep warm and obviously they come in so many, so, so many styles. The maxi and midi skirts right now, um, obviously I mentioned before that denim maxi and midi skirts are so in right now. I love them so much. And the first look that you should see popping up right now is actually this brown um, suede top that I belted. And then I have my maxim de uh, my meaty denim skirt on that I got from Zara. I love this look so much. It just reads so fall. Uh, it's another look that I wore last week. I'm just like incorporating these looks that I actually wear 
to the office to out it to outings and stuff like that i did wear this one um i think it was just running errands and stuff in the city but it was a really great look it's super fun and having like this brown top that is also uh, it's a vintage uh suede top that i got um i got this top for like two euro i got it in paris and i probably spent two euro on it it's not that good um when i tell you that i love vintage shopping because i definitely find pieces to mix and match with you know more pricey designer pieces i love it so much that's really my aesthetic so this top was one of them and again it is 100 percent suede like it's not fake it's real so it's kind of cool to be able to have something like that that's at a lower price point and again this look with the skirt just chef's kiss it's such a fun fun fall look and it's so, super easy to to wear the second look that you'll see me in is this another vintage <laughs> another vintage uh, piece which is this vintage skirt and the blazer actually are both vintage um the skirt i've had for a couple of years but this floral print which i'm sure you probably like what like you know how does she find this like i found this and i honestly when i first saw it i was just like this old lady skirt but i don't know why i love it so much it has some, tons of fall colors in it and this is again another way that you can wear the maxi skirt trend it's actually with prints i'm not usually a huge huge print person um i do love color and if i do do a print it's more like of a like structure not more abstract or floral i'm not really too much into floral but something about this skirt kind of read to me and i love it i've had it in my wardrobe for a while and i just feel like it pairs so well with a lot of different things out here i wore it with a blazer that's maroon i would also wear an oversized um black blazer with it you can also wear a turtleneck with that skirt like it just has a lot of versatility because of all of the different colors you could wear green you could wear purple it just it's just really great um and last outfit but certainly not least this is actually something that i was just like being creative and just trying to have fun with i mentioned this top before from acnavas the top the um flared out top that i'm wearing in this look uh before about how wearing it without layering it made me a little bit insecure so i would found a way so the way that i found to rock it was actually layering it under layering a turtleneck under it and or a shirt just any shirt really and it i think it came out super super fun i'm wearing it with this meaty um faux leather skirt from max studios and i just love this look so much i'm definitely gonna recreate this i created that look specifically for this video but i'm definitely gonna recreate recreate that outfit and wear it somewhere else because it's too good to waste just to show you guys on the video <laughs> i just th i think it's just fun it's flirty and this is actually a way that i love to pair blacks together a lot of the times in fall and winter we wear a lot of black and it can get really boring and monotonous but when you mix the different textures and the different so i have the patent leather boots i have the you know leather skirt i have the flared out ruffled top and then the, you know more grounded uh, turtleneck all together it's just stuff chef's kiss so definitely definitely invest if you can in like a maxi leather moment it's just too good i actually really want to get one that's even longer than that um so i'm on the hunt for a skirt that probably like hit a uh, maxi skirt that's like very penciled and hits my ankle so you know you might see that in the, in the next couple of, of weeks all right we are finally to number one on my list of my top five um fall staples to have in your wardrobe or that i have in my wardrobe and my top my top 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 even though i said you know just recently that it, when i was talking about skirts that this is the thing that i'm trying to avoid wearing but i end up wearing them all the time and that's a pair of wide leg pants wide leg jeans wide leg trousers however you want to call them they are my favorites in the winter and um the winter the fall and winter they are just so great you can wear leggings underneath them and can be actually very very warm they are so chic yet 
comfortable. Like having comfortability is not really something that I aim towards when I'm dressing. I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of people are like, oh, I wanna be comfortable, I wanna be comfortable. Like I don't really care about being comfortable when I'm dressing. So I'm really bad at that. But wide leg uh, trousers are definitely comfortable. So I'd rather be chic than comfortable, to be honest with you, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I re Really, I do. And when I'm chic, I feel more comfortable in myself, maybe not in the clothes, but I feel way more comfortable when I'm chic rather than when I'm not. So, um, but yeah, I digress. Well, having wide leg pants definitely is a way to, um, to be comfortable yet chic. And again, they come in so many different ways, styles, trends, you know, you name it, they have it. Um, my first look here is actually a look that I wore, um, I think two weeks ago I had it on, which is this this cropped fun angular sweater that is another meow. I got it from the meow sample sale, which is actually also where I got this top. I forgot to share. I shouldn't share this one with you guys before. This one is cool because it has an active zipper. You can zip it out. I'm not going to show you guys my bra right now because it's not the cutest, but <laughs> you can zip. I have worn it where I use, I zipped it up and you saw a little peek of my lace bra. It's super cute. Um, but that green sweater is also a meow sample sale um, find. And I can't tell you how many times people saw me with this sweater on. It's just super cute. It's very, it's unusual because of the triangular shape. It also has it in the back. But I paired that with some of my favorite pants right now, which are these pinstripe pants that I got. Um, I got them from Anthropology, and I also have the jacket from it. You guys saw this during New York Fashion Week that I wore, and I'll pop, pop a picture. These pants are some of my favorite. The pinstripe is just so chic. Like, if you don't have a pair of pinstripe pants in your wardrobe, this is actually my first. You need to get them. Now I have two. Now I have two. And I actually have my eye on a Frankie shop one, which I'll link so you guys can check that out too. I love a pinstripe pants. And these pants in particular, again, they just read so elevated with that sweater. It makes it fun. This is such a really great outfit. I love, I loved how this turned out. And a, a, a bunch of other people did too, because I put it on social media and people loved it. So that is my first look. The second one, um, this one is a little bit more chill than I actually usually go towards. And that, I actually like, I actually really, really like this outfit because again, this shows you how wide leg pants, even though these pants that I'm wearing in this, is my these are my favorite wide, um, wide leg trousers that I wear all the time. They're from H&M. They have this cute little corseted waist kind of situation. You can't really tell from this because of how the sweater is tied but they are very chic and they look very great like with office outfits. But I pair them with sneakers and I pair them with this oversized Hanifa sweater. And it gives us, gives it this casual element that again, still looks a little elevated because the pants are a little bit more elevated, but you can dress them down. And I would wear this to, again, to brunch. I would wear this to an outing. I would have to, um, to bring the sweater up a little bit more because that sweater is super long and I'm a tall girl. So Hanifa, she did her thing with those, those sweaters because she made them very, very long. Um, but they also can trip you up, if you, especially if you're not wearing heels. Um, but this is how this is how I style this. And this is another way that how you can style your wide leg trousers. They don't always have to read as super professional and super corporate-y or whatever. They could be fun and casual like this. And then the third and final way that I wore it is actually an, a trend that I mentioned in my trends, my uh, fall trends video. And that is a leather on leather moment. Like, honestly, when I first put, like, when I first was just like thinking of looks and stuff like that, I thought about this look and I was just like, mm, let me see what it looks like on. I'm going to wear this out. I <laughs> like you, you, sometimes you create things in your mind. And you don't know how they read when you put them on. I loved how this turned out this leather on leather. I, you know, again, it's a, it's a pretty daring kind of look, but I love what it looks like. These wide leg leather pants, which I do want to get another pair of because though these, these pants fit me, I think that um, the cut is just a little weird to me in the front because of how the darting is. So I think I want to get something a little bit more, um, with less darting in the front. So it doesn't look as bunched up as I feel like it, it looks, but 
this was just to give you an example i'm definitely wearing this outfit or a similar outfit with that leather trench that is another vintage fine um and it was i just love this trench so much it just works so well it's i think it's like it looks like an early like 90s trench and i just oof, 100 100 leather and it has a silk lining like it you can't you can't can't beat it but um i put paired that trench with these pants and you gotta look again leather on leather and then of course i finished it off with a black turtleneck again they just go with everything i told you i told you guys that was the first one i started with that um turtlenecks are gonna go with everything but you can pair them with wide leg pants and make a chic look like this um so yeah that is it for me today <laughs> thanks again if you made it to this part of the video thanks again for watching please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed these kind of videos. I love doing them. I actually had a lot of fun creating these looks and actually gave me a, a lot of looks that I can wear in my own, you know, in my own day-to-day -day life. So I'm actually appreciative. I'm going to rewatch this video and be like, okay, I need that. Okay, this is what I got to put together today if I can't think of an outfit. Um, so I hope that it helps you guys to put together outfits. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.